KSBW weather with meteorologist Ferdinand Holum. Hi, everybody. It was another lovely day, although temperatures were just a little bit below average today. Most of us about five or so degrees below average. Nonetheless, up in Boulder Creek, we got up into the middle 50s, some low 60s for Santa Cruz and Scotts Valley. Watsonville got up to 58 degrees today. More of the same on the Monterey Peninsula, mainly upper 50s for the highs today. Lows last night or early this morning were mainly in the 40s. And then as you make your way into the Salinas Valley, upper 50s for the highs, a few low 60s out there, the lows, upper 30s and some low 40s. So all of us kind of feeling the same uh, temperatures. And then up in the Santa Clara Valley, upper 50s for San Jose, mid 50s for Morgan Hill. Gilroy, the warm spot popped up to 64 degrees this afternoon. Skycam 8, Monterey, Embassy Suites, seaside there, beautiful shot. Temperature right now in Monterey, 54 degrees. The dew point is at 46. Relative humidity, 74%. Just a light little wind there out of the south-southwest, about 5 miles per hour. Other temperatures in our area right now, Morgan Hill, 54 degrees. Scotts Valley, you're at 53. Soquel, same deal, 54. Moss Landing and Pebble Beach, both coming in at 57 degrees right now. So the temperature is not too bad out there. There you go, folks. Plenty of rain moving into the Pacific Northwest. We do have another system, that one right there, moving through Washington and Oregon, which will sag to the south as we go through the next 24 hours. Here's the trough of low pressure and cold front that brought us the showers and the rain and the thunderstorms yesterday. And then with this one, this is the new one, so an active weather pattern in store for us here. Uh, winds with this, with the passage out of the front, 20 to 30 miles per hour with the gusts to 50 miles per hour, especially when you get up into the hills. And then rain amounts a quarter of an inch down towards King City, north up towards the Monterey Bay, about a half an inch. You get into the mountains, upwards of one inches of rain. So the timing on it, Saturday, 6 o'clock, let's pick it up now. So overnight tonight, we see some rain bands moving through. That's about the 5 o'clock hour. So we could see some light rain through the early morning hours, but the main event, the big front that moves through, there it is right there. You see the timestamp around 1 o'clock, so midday, some heavy rain with this system. Also, some very gusty winds there, as you can see with the, the uh, arrows here on the map. By the time we get in through the evening, just a few little remnant showers left. And then by the time we get through the overnight hours going through Monday, we clear things out. And Monday looks to be uh, mostly nice. There's still just a 20% chance for some showers on Monday. Heading up to the Sierra, if you're not up there already, meh, you better get going because by tomorrow around the noontime hour, that's when the really heavy snow starts up in Tahoe. 6,000 feet, we're looking at 6 to 12 inches. 7,000 feet, we're looking at about 10 to 20 inches of new snow. Gusting winds 50 to 60 miles per hour. Peaks upwards of 100 mile per hour gusts. All right, so your temperatures tomorrow 57 in San Francisco, 56 Redwood City, Mountain View coming in at 56 degrees as well for tomorrow, and down towards the Santa Clara Valley, again, mainly mid 50s there, running again about five degrees below normal for this time of year. And we make our way into the Salinas Valley, mainly middle to upper 50s there, 58 for Greenfield. Right here in Salinas, we're looking at a high of 56. The overnight lows aren't going to be too bad. Uh, no 30s, mainly because we have the cloud cover overnight tonight. 55 uh, for Marina and Seaside, mainly mid-50s there on the peninsula. And up in Santa Cruz, up in the mountains, mainly mid-50s. There. There's 130 on the map for Scotts Valley, 39 degrees. Watsonville, 56 degrees. All right, seven-day forecast. So 90% for tomorrow. <laughs> That's about as big as you get. Uh, Monday, just a 20% chance for some remnant showers. Tuesday, Wednesday, look... Uh, Pretty nice and sunny, although a little bit cooler than normal. Next system for next weekend, Friday and Saturday. And then look at this, some overnight lows Monday and Tuesday. That'll be the chilly couple days of the week. 30 to 38 on Monday, 28 to 36 on Tuesday. Ooh, chilly stuff. Brr. Yeah, it'll be cold. Thanks, Ferdinand. <laughs> Appreciate it. We'll